These are the keys to some mystery apartments in one of New York's most expensive neighborhoods. Look at those ceilings. That's like 35 feet up in the air. Comes with some pretty hefty looking barbed wire. Oh, this one comes with a cool mirror. Check that out. Well, I'm gonna stay Do you wanna do an impromptu tour of your apartment? Sure. It's like a little attic that was turned into an apartment. And it looks like our first building is still being built. Another way to describe this would be like a bunk bed for adults. $3,200 a month, it's a studio, but it's a big one. This loft is 11 and a half by four and a half. There's an outlet with a switch. If you're able, a mattress up here would give you the entire downstairs. And with those outlets, you could at least make this like a hangout area or something. Can you imagine being in this position for all of your Zoom calls if it's a home office? The ladder itself is pretty high up. I mean, we're in a place with 10 foot ceilings and the windows here are absolutely Money. These are the buildings at Hudson Yards. That's a water tower and that's Spire right there. That's the very top of the Empire State Building. It's also not that loud out here. And these windows are facing north. And this one faces east, which is why it's so bright in here. Now the downstairs is pretty big and it's got two sections. The area under the loft is 10 and a half by 10 and a half. A perfect square. Which means if you're not sleeping up there, you're probably sleeping down here. There's also a shelves, internet cable, and you got two heaters. This apartment does come with a massive AC that has its own little remote. Maybe it's big enough to kind of fill up this whole place. Also, we have two video intercoms. I guess this is the old one. And the other section is 11 and a half by eight and it's right here by the kitchen. If your bed's over here, this is gonna have to be your kitchen slash living room. This is a mount point. There might've been a TV there, although I'd probably put it against this wall. Couch on this side. And you can get a nice little table over here by the kitchen itself. Now the apartment has a fairly basic kitchen, not a lot of appliances. One, two. But it has a ton of counter space and it has a window facing east. Come on, that's your kitchen window view. That ain't nothing to complain about. There's other things to complain about, but that isn't one of them. One, two outlets. Oops, three outlets. How's the water? Oh, it's pretty good considering we're so high up. There's lots of cabinets, drawers for things like door locks. I don't know why that's in there. And there's even a little closet right across from where the sink is. Oh, it pinched me, but that's where the bathroom is. Across from which we will find a massive walk-in closet. The layout in here is really interesting. After you close the main door and get in, you'll find that we got ourselves in the closet. That's a lot of storage space. The tub might not be brand new or fancy, but uh, this apartment's still being cleaned up. And it's very sunny in here. Bathroom storage, quirky little light, love that. And the sink, decent. And if you have six toothbrushes, you are gonna love that thing. And there's an outlet. How's the seat of achievement? You will definitely be able to watch some TikToks here. It's like a jungle gym. We've also got two of these. Um, they work. So this particular place is $3,100 a month, but it's a lot smaller. It is one floor lower, but I don't think it's as sunny. And I don't think the kitchen's as nice, even if it might be a little bit newer. It's still big. I mean, the living space is 18 by 10 and a half. You just don't have the loft area, which means no bedroom or home office. But this place does have a little fire escape garden. There's also like some tree branches or something. Plus you can admire this gate that blocks nothing on this other building. Why is that there? We've got a big AC should cool us down, big heater. And even though the kitchen might be a step down, the bathroom might be more important than the kitchen for some of you. I don't think the other one is ever gonna have a bathroom that's this bright, even if this one's a little smaller. It's probably the white paint and the white tile. Does this justify $100? Let me know. Check that out. These guys have the right idea. A little hammock chair up there on the fire escape. That's where we're headed next. But the place we're seeing is actually in the basement. $34.99 a 
95 and this basement apartment could be a two bed. No power, someone moved out. This apartment is essentially two really big bedrooms divided by like a hallway kitchen. That's the back room. This is where you come in. There's laundry in the actual apartment. And then this is the street facing room. 1700 per person. That's really affordable and you're gonna get a big room. This front facing room is 16 by 14 and the back room is seven by 13. Definitely the view is something to take into account, but this doesn't make any noise. It's incredibly quiet. And look at this. If you go back out into the hallway, there's only one other apartment right here and you kind of have your own private entrance. You can tell it's also like an upgraded version of the last kitchen. Got the under counter dishwasher, beverage cooler, fancy intercom with a phone. It's just a little bit narrow, but if it's only you and a roommate here, I think you can make it work if price is what's really important to you. We'll take a quick peek at the bathroom here. No real surprises. Got ourselves a tub. Yeah, because I'm doing a- uh... No, go ahead, dude. It's cool. You're doing a 3D tour, right? All right, cool. Yeah, I'll hop out. Can you do it without the lights on? Yeah, I mean, it's not as good, but they told me- This takes a 3D image of the apartment? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Fifth floor, huh? I'll check them out. Awesome, I'll see you later. When one door closes, another one opens. This place is insane. Look at those ceilings. That's like 35 feet up in the air. $7,000, two bedroom apartment with two floors, and there's two of these. Directly across the hall, we've got another unit that has the same layout, but in reverse, the staircase isn't as fancy as this staircase. It's like a metal one. And both of these share a common roof deck, which is way up there. My favorite is the one with the better kitchen and the white stairs. The other one's very nice, and it actually has two bathrooms. So two full baths, but a slightly less updated kitchen. But the ceiling height is the same. They've got this lofted space, and the difference is just that one bathroom and a kitchen finish. Oh, and both units have laundry. Excuse some of these things. Basically, the super told me these guys moved out this morning, so none of this has been painted yet. This is like our only chance to see this. Now, the stairs Staircases in each of these are pretty steep. We've got to go pretty high up. And at the top of the stairs, each place has like this landing area. It could be an attic, it could be a bedroom. Height is about five feet, so you could partially stand. There's power outlets, heaters. But up these stairs is where the magic happens. Look at that, the very top of the Chrysler building. That's some golden thing over there. This is an insane deck. Now it's technically shared, but look at all this space. The doors to both apartments are right here down this little hallway. If you wanna borrow some sugar, you can just come right over here and go into your neighbor's apartment. We're facing north, that's why this looks so interesting. You can see all kinds of buildings every direction. And it's not too bad walking up here, so you know, you buy some Amazon furniture, you bring it up here in boxes, you assemble it. I mean, I'm not complaining about the furniture that's up here, or the free grill, or the free dustpan. Boy, if that cooler could talk, I wonder what stories it would tell. I probably don't wanna know. We've got power, and since we're up here, let's just go to the next store one that I don't like as much. Yeah, so look, this is their upstairs attic area. It's a little bit taller here. I'm 5'7 and I'm almost like completely standing up. So you could make this a bedroom easier than the other side. Since this place has two full baths, I'm guessing that it's gonna go for a little bit more, even though the living room and everything else is a very similar size. I just don't like this staircase as much. I don't wanna walk on it. This one, for some reason, just feels easier and more fun to navigate. But my recommendation is to make sure you go down this thing in reverse. Now what's cool is each of these have working gas fireplaces and the two bedrooms will each fit queen beds and the street facing ones will fit a king if you want. Oh, this one comes with a cool mirror. Check that out. The back bedrooms are better suited to a queen or a full but they're very sunny. And that basement apartment we were looking at earlier, it's in a building similar to this. And if you remember, it had like a corner unit, but here we're so high up that everything's got natural light. Oh, I was just coming in to check oh, out. Oh, you are from the website. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah what's up? Catch Catch order, man. You've been living here 30 years. Wow, do you like it? Well, I'm really stabilized. Do you want to do an impromptu tour of your apartment? Sure, if you want to do that. I'll sure. take a quick look. Do you have like any money or weapons or anything that you want to hide? <laughs> Do you mind me asking what your monthly rent is? It's about 1800 
1800? That's so good. Rob, how did you get this apartment? I got this apartment 30 years ago. 30 I years ago. I moved in there, I moved in with the guy I was living with at that time. He was supposed to grab a lease, but he had already had an apartment somewhere else in the city. So I had to grab a lease, but of course I was 20 years old, mm. so I couldn't sign, so I needed somebody to back me up. So I had my dad wow. co-sign with me. <laughs> That's how they really got the apartment. My first apartment, my dad had to co-sign for me too. <laughs> exactly. That's how you do it back then. And back then it wasn't about you know dealing with the agents or the real Realtors, it was literally like I'm calling super and I'm like, I want the apartment. What year was this? 91. 91? I don't even know if I was alive then. <laughs> exactly. This is the bedroom area? This is the bedroom Ooh, this office. is beautiful. <laughs> Look at that. I got the home office. This looks like everyone else's New yeah. York City apartment. Yeah, exactly. Nice view of the street. We're on what, the fourth floor? Fourth floor. Fourth floor. What size bed do you have? It's a twin. Got the dresser. Oh, I like your TV. That's a smart place to put it. It's out of the way. Your living room is big. This is just as big as the other places that people are paying, you know, $4,400 for right now. I did this. I didn't do that. Oh, you did this. <laughs> I, that's one of the cool things about Rent Stabilize. You can just renovate yourself and they can't stop you. Oh, you have a working fireplace? Uh, it works. I don't. I haven't used it in 10 years. But 10 years? Uh, but other people in the building have used their fireplace. So I, so I hear it does work. It's great. The external, okay. It's great. Um, Okay. Dude, your bathroom's like the nicest uh, part. It's clean. I'm not going to go in uh, because you said they were just working on it, but yeah, dude, I like your sink. It's good. It works. Do you have a love-hate relationship with this uh, copier? Uh, I don't use it that often. I never I never really use it. I used it during the pandemic. Thank you so much. Oh, sure. I'll talk to you in a bit. Thanks. Yep. See you later. Right. Now, the place we came here to see, unfortunately, not rent stabilized, but you can tell the building's really nice. Lower level. We're headed to the basement. That's cool, little laundry room down here. And I think this is us. Hello. There's a sign that says to turn off the lights when we leave. Okay, better remember. So this one's like a studio slash one bedroom, junior one bedroom. We've got these French doors, which you can use to close off a bedroom. And all together, this is about 300 square feet. This is pretty cool. We got this big backyard. Comes with some pretty hefty looking barbed wire, but it's like a secret garden oasis down here. There's green everywhere. And look at this crazy pipe. This is like something out of a science fiction movie. As far as goodies, we've got some flower pots. We got a shelf here, which seems pretty sturdy. I feel like you could have a really cool fire pit back here, but there are a lot of other apartments looking down in here, which probably means you're gonna want like some kind of umbrella thing, but it's big enough. You could have a, a gazebo, a little outdoor pool and it's really quiet. I don't think anyone is coming back to any of these backyards. We're like between two buildings. It's almost like an alleyway. Now, just off the little deck out there, again, sleeping area. If it's a queen size bed, no problem. Could put an AC in your window and it comes with a shade, which is nice. Closet looks decent. Hey, 300 square feet, it's not a lot. But you could also get a dresser in this corner by the heaters. But here's where things get interesting. The common area will definitely fit a couch, a table, and a TV. And let's say you keep one of these doors open. You create like an artificial right angle. You could have furniture or something against it. Ceiling fan, that's great. Over here, you could mount a TV and then have a table. Got ourselves a closet out here. Wow, this has to be one of the tiniest, most uh, specifically lined up kitchens ever because everything opens, no collisions. But we've got burners, no oven. Nice medium sized dishwasher though. How's our water? It better be good. We're on the ground floor and it is. Oh, it's really strong. Look, there's even a little window back here for a fake plant. Microwave four outlets. Definitely one of the tiniest kitchens we've had a chance to look at. And like, look at how this drawer opens. Isn't that interesting? Bathroom. I had a feeling this was gonna be dark, but it's really bright. Probably the brightest bath so far. Now we don't have a tub, we have a standing shower. And to be honest with you, I don't know if a tub would have fit in here. And if you're living here by yourself, I think it's probably enough. And look at where they put the roll holder, right here. How do you get the roll in? I guess you like pull it out. Hope you had fun. Subscribe or don't. I'll see you in the next video.